Hey game designers, in this video we're going to give you guys a quick introduction to the pen tool. So we're just opening up Photoshop here, we're going to click on create new. And we're going to just create a 1920 by 1080 pixels. So we're talking very high definition here, this is the resolution of the computer monitors in our um, lab here. So we got a 1920 by 1080 pixels, 300 dpi, let's go and hit create. So um, just a couple things to know about the pen tool. The pen tool can be found right here. Um, there's different variations of the pen tool, but we're just going to use the uh, normal pen tool here. Okay. And the big difference and kind of the thing that makes the pen tool um, hard to use is that uh, students believe that it works similar to the pencil tool that just lets you draw wherever you left click and drag to. But the pen tool works uh, much more differently. It actually uses um, mathematics to determine the shape of things. So let's get start off with creating a simple square. So we're going to just simply uh, left click like this to create what we call a knot. And we're going to left click again to create the bottom of the uh, square here. And we're just going to click to the right. So I'm just doing a simple left click. And then I'm going to do another simple left click. Okay. Now make sure that your tool is under shape and not path. I think by default, uh, Photoshop will use it as a path, but we are creating a simple shape, okay? So once you kind of have the four corners uh, left clicked and selected, go and hit enter to finalize the shape. Okay, and once you hit enter, it is now um, uh, kind of confirmed and creates the shape here. Let's do a quick triangle. And don't worry about it if you guys, uh, you know, didn't create a perfect triangle or a perfect square. We'll actually be able to come back and change this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit enter now that we created this triangle. And uh, what I want you guys to do next is kind of create a silhouette of a tree. Okay, so I'm going to start at the top of the trunk, kind of work my way down here. And kind of just create like, you know, something like roots or something. And I'm just going to kind of go around and kind of just left click and form like, you know, the outer edges of a tree. Something like that. <clears throat> Not the prettiest tree, but uh, here we go. And the one thing, the last thing that we're going to teach you guys is how to, uh, you know, make a heart. Because, you know, as much as, you know, these tools, it's nice to create polygonal type shapes, you know, things with straight edges. The pen tool is actually much more powerful than that. It allows us to create mathematical curves. So let's demonstrate this by teaching you guys how to make a simple heart. So we're going to create a six-pointed heart here. Okay, let's go ahead and hit enter. So what we have here is four polygonal shapes. And, um, you know, you can click on them. They're all separate in layers right over here. What I'm going to teach you guys how to do now is how to edit these shapes. So unlike the pen tool or the pencil tool, when you paint, um, you really have to erase the paint and repaint it again in order to change uh, the shape. But when you have a shape created by knots and handles, you can edit them. So how do you do this? You're going to hold control and you're going to left click. And now you can see all the knots. Okay, now while holding control, you can left click and drag these. And you can see that it you can edit the shape. So let's say I want to make my square look a little bit more square. All right, I could fix it. If I wanted to change it to a trapezoid, I can do that. Okay, so again, all it is just simply holding control and left clicking on the shape to be able to edit the knots um, so that you can move them around. So it's gonna go to the uh, triangle here. I'm gonna again hold control and left click. Right? And if I want to make a you know more obtuse triangle or make more of an acute triangle or an isosceles triangle, I could definitely do that. Okay, let's go to my tree here. <clears throat> 
Suppose that, you know, I think that, you know, it still looks too polygonal. I want to add more polygons. So I'm going to hold control and left click. If I wanted to just simply add more knots, you can see here that without holding anything, if I just kind of move my pen tool along the edges, it will allow me to create more knots that's in between other knots. So I can simply left click right here. And now there's an extra knot here. So now I can hold control and I can move that knot, right? All right, so here's kind of the most important part of the lesson is that the great thing about the pen tool is that these knots, in addition to being able to be edited, we can actually create curves with these knots, okay? So how do you access the tools to kind of create curves with these knots? It's simply by holding Alt, okay? After you hit Control, left click with the pen tool, it'll show you all the knots. If you hold Alt, and click on a knot, you could left click and drag the, what we call handles. So you can see here, I'm kind of dragging the handles here to move that knot and control the shape of these curves, okay? Now you can see here, I'm holding control and I can do this. I can also hold Alt and left click on that knot and then drag it out. So you can see here, I can extend it out, I can shrink it, I can change its rotation here. Okay, so I'm gonna go, this point is just fine, I'm gonna go over here now, and I'm gonna move it somewhere where it's kind of symmetrical with this uh, opposite knot here. And again, I'm just holding control so I can move it around, but I wanna control the curve, I hold Alt and drag it. And you can see here that these, you know, this creates a twist in my, uh, my, sh my curves, I wanna turn it around. Can I, again, control the bend of my shape, okay? And likewise, I'm gonna go ahead and use control to move this knot over here somewhere, okay? And you can always hit delete a knot by hitting the delete button too, so that's if you're something you're interested in doing. You can also delete a knot. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back here and add a knot. Oh, that's another shape. Let's make sure I go back here. Okay. So I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to go actually create a new knot over here. Uh, go over here. And go over here. And actually, I'm going to actually going to make this the knot up here now. And I'm gonna go ahead and swing this backwards like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and drag a new knot here. So in case I wanna move it, I can alter the handles. I can shift it over, okay. And again, I can go here and I could control the handles a little bit better. I can click on here, hold Alt to control the handles. And now you see when I hold Alt, I can actually control individual handles. So you can see here that I could control individual handles. And go ahead and manipulate the heart. All right, so again, um, you have the ability to control these handles and you're able to uh, you know, drag out and manipulate these handles and fix these uh, shapes to however you want. So that goes for anything. You could go back to any of these and create uh, the shape that you want. So what I wanna show you now is how we could create a, you know, a four leaf clover without creating the knots first, but creating them while we use the pen tool. So I'm just gonna use um, a, the pen tool right here on a new layer, or the pencil tool on a new layer, and just kind of set up a reference for ourselves. So I'm just gonna go something like this, and it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just kind of, you know, creating something to kind of give us an idea here. 
Um, maybe I'll just use the eraser tool, cut it off just a little bit here. Okay, so this is just kind of our reference here. I'm gonna go back to my pen tool and I'm gonna show you guys how to do like a, make it create a little flower here or a four leaf clover um, by kind of using these as a reference point. So I'm gonna use the pen tool and I'm gonna left click and drag. And you can see when I left click and drag, I create what we call these handles, right? And these handles are what we call linked. So I'm gonna create a four leaf clover. So I want the, I wanna pull kind of downward toward here. So I have an accurate uh, handle here and I'm gonna hold alt and this lets me unlink the handles. So I'm gonna kind of do my best to kind of create a, a symmetrical V shape here. And I'm gonna create the second knot over here. And just like the top one, I'm gonna pull down to the next uh, reference here. And you can see this forms a curve that I'm looking for in terms of creating this kind of four leaf clover. But again, if I do this, this is gonna create a handle that goes this direction. I don't want that. I need to unlink the handles, hold alt, and then let go of my mouse and create uh, this kind of split in the handles. So now I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna go to this one here. And again, I'm gonna drag it to this next reference point and that creates the same curve that I created up here. So I'm gonna hold, go here to kind of get the curve that I'm looking for. Then I'm gonna hold alt to unlink the handles. And again, make this kind of V shape, okay? Now I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go here and pull it over here so that it's very, very exact. I'm gonna hold Alt to unlink the handles, okay? And then I'm gonna let go of my mouse. And remember that when I first created this shape, I kind of had a handle that was going out here. So now all you have to do to kind of reconnect the shapes is just left click back at the start point and it will use the handle that I had up here and the handle that I had up here and create this kind of four leaf clover type shape, okay? So that is gonna be part one of our exercise. So let's go ahead and uh, export this out. Let's go to export, export as, and go ahead and export this as a JPEG on good quality and submit it into our West Coast course. Um, just kind of call it intro to pen tool. Okay, and I'm just gonna use the word tutorial because this is my tutorial here and go ahead and click on save. Okay, and that will be it for this video.